Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this Minnie Mouse lip balm. So let's get started. All right, so I'm starting out with a regular lip balm. This is just the Chapstick brand, but of course you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and take an X-Acto knife and um, take the plastic off, being very careful because I am gonna use this later on. The cap plastic is pretty easy to remove. You just pull it off. Um, then I'm taking a piece of foil and using that wrapper that I um, took off of the lip balm, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of foil about the same size but just a little bit longer so it is the same height but the width is just a tiny bit longer so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it onto the lip balm to make sure that it is the right size and as you can see I took the cap off of the lip balm just for more a more precise fit and I'm wrapping the lip balm in the foil and I'm just going to go ahead and attach it with a piece of tape. So once you have that done, I'm taking another piece of foil and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom. This is the twist part of the lip balm. This is a little bit tricky since it is so small, but I'm just doing my best. I'm cutting off the excess and then pushing the rest of the foil into the little dent that the bottom has. So that's already two pieces. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the cap. So I'm just taking a little square piece, kind of just eyeballing it. You can measure it if you want to. But I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap that and then cutting off any excess. Now I'm taking some clay. This is Primo Clay in the color red. I'm not sure if that's the actual name of the color, but it's just a red clay. Um, and then I'm taking a rolling pin. This rolling pin is for clay. You can use like a plate or rolling pin if you have that lying around. But um, anyways, I'm just taking that same chapstick wrapper and I'm gonna cut out a piece of clay. Um, I do recommend that you cut this out a little bit longer as well, just because for mine, it actually fit a little short. I have no idea why it was short since I did cut it the same size of the actual label, but I don't know, for some reason it ended up being a little short. So as you can see, I kind of had to um, try to squeeze and mend the uh, ends together. But yeah, so I just rolled it out just to make sure that everything was nice and smooth. If you do cut yours, a nice size and you probably won't have to roll it out as much but yeah I'm just making sure that all the edges and all the sides are nice and as straight as I can get them uh, for this bottom part it's very important that the end of the clay matches the um, beginning of the little twist part so that it doesn't get in the way so then I'm gonna go ahead and remove that part and I'm gonna put it in um, just a pan with a piece of paper on the bottom. This is just regular printing paper and um, I forgot to mention this but this clay is oven bake clay so don't use just any clay that you have. This is oven bake clay. So now I'm going to move on to the bottom part. I'm going to put the foil on that first and then um, I cut just a little rectangle piece and kind of just smooth that out as best as I can and put that onto the pan as well. Now I have some um, more clay. This is just black clay with little uh, glitters in it. Um, you can find this again at any craft store. I have no idea what happened to this clip, but basically what I did is um, I put the tin on the cap and then I put some of that black and glitter clay onto the cap. Um, so that's it. Then I balled up two little pieces and then attach those to the cap to make Minnie's ears. Now to make the bow, I got some more of that red clay, made three little balls. One ball is for the center and the other two balls are gonna be little triangles and I'm just making the triangles with my fingers. You guys know that I just like to do that. Um, it's easier than using a knife or any cutters because you could just mold it as you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the tip of those triangles together and then put the other little dot right in the center and kind of um, 
press it on there to make it a little bit flat. Then I'm taking this little pointy stick. This is actually for clay, but you can use a toothpick as well. And I'm going to make little dents on the sides just for more texture on the bow. I'm going to measure it against the cap to see that it is the right size, and it is. I think it just looks so cute. Um, I'm taking some of this. This is liquid Sculpey. It's basically liquid clay. You can find this at any craft store as well. And I'm just putting that on there so that the clay uh, bow sticks on there a lot nicer and it doesn't move around. So now I have all my three pieces and I'm going to go ahead and bake these. Please follow the package's directions of your clay. Mine were all for 30 minutes at three, no, at 275 degrees, but just make sure that you follow the directions on your clay. So then with a red sharpie, I just drew it on the edges of the chapstick. And then with a file, you can also use sandpaper, but uh, nail files are just easier because most of us have them on hand. I just filed the clay so that it could be flat. Then I'm doing the same thing with a black sharpie since the cap is black. And then taking some E6000 glue, I put it on to um, the inside of the tube and put it through the... Um, uh, lip balm and then glued the cap and the bottom just like so and it fits perfectly so this is what it looks like I had <laughs> some trouble with the glue I was very messy with it usually when I film um, it is the first time that I'm doing it so if this is gonna be the first time that you guys are doing this you're gonna have some um, trials and errors but um, <laughs> just keep going uh, keep doing your best um, I sanded down all of the areas that I felt like I needed to and then I took a q-tip with some white acrylic paint and drew some dots so then I'm gonna take some polyurethane this is just gloss and it's what I use for clay but you can use regular clay gloss if you want to just to give it some shine and as you can see it works perfectly the bottom part is nice and loose so that it screws up and down nicely and now you have your very own Minnie Mouse lip balm. I hope you guys like this. This is perfect to do and make and give out as a gift. So yeah, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!